Hey, good to have you here. We've got a super show for you today. Here's just a little sampling of what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be in the kitchen this time with Famous People Players. Now, we've been promoting the good work that Famous People Players have been doing for years, but we've never had them in the kitchen to uh, whip up some of the amazing menus that they've got going on for their holiday show. It's going to be terrific. It's a dinner theater. Well, we've got the Famous People Players chef, Christopher Woods here, and sous chef from Famous People Players, Jamie McDonald. Hello to both of you. Hello. Now, Jamie is part of the uh, kitchen staff when you're doing the show that's on right now, right? Right now, Jamie's helping with the kitchen, but Jamie also does, depending on the show we're doing, is in the show as well. You're in the show and you're cooking in the kitchen. Yeah. Do you, which do you enjoy more? Kitchen. <laughs> He's brilliant in the kitchen. Is he? Mm -hmm. he is absolutely Why do you brilliant. like cooking so much? Because um, because I like to um, work in the kitchen with Eric and Empy. Mm hmm It's all about the camaraderie, isn't it? It is. So one of the wonderful dishes that you are providing during the dinner theater show, you're going to make for us today, right? We are, Val. What we're doing is we're doing the, we're having a Christmas themed dinner. And it's been running for the last month, and well, this month as well, obviously, because now it's December, we're here. Um, and I'm going to get you to start doing some of it, because we're also going to do a couple of things that we're going to do for New Year's Eve. I'm going to get Jamie on here to start peeling some carrots for us. Jamie, you want to do that for me, please? Get those ready. Gorgeous heirloom carrots. Mm -hmm. okay. Everything Go ahead, we Jamie. Use, all the food we use at the uh, Famous Players is all organic and fresh. Nice. And as local as we can during the seasons, but we live in Canada, so right now, what do we have in season? Squash, apples, and potatoes. That's right. And <laughs> carrots. Uh, you want me to peel or Jamie? No, no, I'm going to get you over here. Oh, I'm over here. You, stand you right go ahead here. and peel those now carrots, this, Jamie. Okay. There are some jumbo 16, 20 count shrimp that we are going to get you to do a little pinch. Okay. Of a little Cajun spice in there. A little Cajun You're going to dump spice. in this little lemon zest. You're going to dump in this little lemon. Or the that's lemon, lemon that's and lime. lime. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to give you a little pinch of salt. And a little quick of this, and a little drizzle of that, and a little toss of your fingers, and you can rinse your hands right behind you. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, Jamie, you're going to peel these for us and get started on this. Can you peel those for me, sir? Okay. This and is some sophisticated uh, dinner items you've got going on here. And this is all done by the players. They do all this. Why is it important that you get them all participating in the preparation? Well, now, our whole program here is to get our players their food handlers licenses. Really? So, Why? Well, so they can get jobs and get their own apartments and live on their own. What would and a food I've, handler's uh, license allow them to do? Well, first of all, it tells a chef in the city of Toronto that they can work in a kitchen. Oh. So I have a bunch of chefs across the city who are willing to take my kids or my young adults when they're ready. I can say kids because I'm old. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, and they're already like dufflets. Are you serious? Yes. Her, they're ready to take my guys as soon as they get their food and handler's license. Whoa. She has something there that they can do. Why is it important that they get jobs and, and do this? Why is that critical? Well, what I get, Val, is the parents coming up to me and thanking me for their kids learning and getting skills because as I have a cousin who has two autistic children who will never leave home. Even as full grown adults? They're adults already and she's 24 7 with these two adults and so they're definitely going to have to be willed or go into the system. So this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to get all these people working and being productive members of self-sufficient and, and self -sufficient. just being great people. How rewarding is that? Oh, I love this. Seriously. I've been doing this for about five years down at the Famous Players, and I go in and I teach all the kids how to cook and uh, design the menu. So we, they change the menu every quarter, so it's a brand new menu, and they learn different cooking techniques every quarter. New skills. Yeah, it's all about skills. So we just did a few little heirloom carrots. Mm. The little fresh herbs, and they only use fresh herbs. We only use everything fresh. Everything is fresh. Everything's from scratch. All the sauces are from scratch. They make their own chicken stock. They make everything. Since I've come in, we just do everything old school. 
So they learn techniques. So when these guys go out into these kitchens, like my good friend Frank of a Frank's Kitchen on college, big supporter, brilliant chef, couldn't believe what we did because we did a big, we invited all the top chefs to Toronto to come for free dinner at the Famous Players. Wonderful. We had Michael Bonaccini, we had Mark McEwen, we had everybody. We brought all the big guys, all the players in. And the Cheese Boutique, everybody came in. And they couldn't believe who cooked this food. It's these guys. Well, listen, we, sh we shouldn't expect anything less because if you've ever seen the show at the Famous People Players, it's a remarkable show. It's moving. It's, it's the sort of thing that gives you goosebumps. So I'm not surprised at all. We, uh, we should expect a lot from oh these people God, because yeah. they have shown us time and time again that they do a great job. Wonderful okay, shopping. Okay, so your shrimp are ready? Yeah, my shrimp are done. Uh, did shrimp? I put enough cayenne or pepper or whatever? Uh, a little more? A little shy. A little shy. Well, I didn't know. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I, mean, I, I, I took you as a spicy girl. Yeah, well, I am, but you uh, said a pinch. No, I just was doing what I thought so, I was doing. So, no, no, it's okay. It's all right. Clearly, I've got a lot to learn. This is one of those things where you can add as much heat as you think you can take. And this is part of the mistletoe magic show, is that right? This is our Christmas special dinner, yeah. And these shrimp are what we're going to be serving at for New Year's Eve. Because we have a New Year's Eve cocktail party, which is absolutely brilliant, with about 10 different selections of hors d'oeuvres that all the guys, all the players make. And it's a brilliant, brilliant show. How do you juggle? So Jamie, you're in the show and you're cooking for the show. That seems like a lot to do in a small period of time. Are you racing back and forth from the kitchen to the stage? Yes. <laughs> so you've got to, they're learning, they're learning time management as well as all now, these other things. You would not believe what these people do. And the, of course, it's a black light theater show. So they do it in the dark. Don't even, I, I, I can barely get to the bathroom at night in the dark. <laughs> these guys are doing a world famous black light theater show that is world famous. Liberace took them to Las Vegas. In the dark. In the dark. We've as, got about two minutes as left opening act. in this segment, Chef. Are we? Okay, well, I'm just, our shrimps are just getting done. I'm going to sear up some chicken. Nice. Now we have these beautiful organic rock Cornish hens that have been totally deboned. A little fresh herbs, a little salt, a little pepper, a little chopped parsley, chest thyme, a little olive oil. The theater is on Front Street, right? No, no, no. No, is it moved? It is on Evans. Evans, okay. Evans and uh, Kipling. Oh, okay. It was downtown, and then uh, they built a brand new theater. It's absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. New kitchen then, too. Yeah. We had uh, Dan Aykroyd in there a little while ago. It was a big fundraiser with Dan Aykroyd. We had uh, Gordon Lightfoot in the other day. And in January, we have Alex Trebek coming in. How about that? Diane Dupree, who runs the show. Uh, his mother has been working there for 40 years and works every day, has turned 100. She comes to work every day, every day. Alex Trevac has kindly said he'd come up to MC her birthday party. Aww. So make sure you come up for that, because it's going to be brilliant. We're having a fantastic special menu, Italian-themed menu for these people. Absolutely brilliant. brilliant. And it's nice that he's coming up. No kidding. Great Canadian. Keep working on the uh, chicken and the shrimp. We're going to take a break and come back and check out how the dinner is coming together Fantastic. a little later on in the show. Jamie, we'll thanks here. so much for being here. You're welcome. Fantastic. <laughs> now check out these events in your community. Thank you to everyone who's been on the show today. X Movement, their fantastic school program to get pe kids feeling good about moving. And it's a whole mind, body, spiritual connection thing. Ritual Hair, Skin, Beauty. They're going to make you look fantastic and feel great too. Jeanette Ewan and her really good uh, gift ideas, plus Samantha Kemp Jackson and her app, cattle.ca, plus these guys from Famous People Players, Christopher Woods, he's the chef, and Jamie McDonald, who is performing in the show, plus working in the kitchen to prepare this amazing dinner that we're looking at right here. So look at that. Cor now rock that Cornish hen. is how our dinner looks. I don't know if you can zoom in on that, but when you come to the Famous Player, this is some of the sexiest food in the city of Toronto. You got That's that That's my right. tagline. This is sexy food. 
If it's not sexy, don't eat it. That's the way I'm living now. We're already impressed with the shows at Famous People Players. Some to of be our, impressed with the food as well. Some of the hors d'oeuvres will be serving at New Year's Eve. Mm. We have the grilled spicy uh, tiger shrimp with a chipotle aioli. And these little devils, my favorite, the little gorgonzola cream with pecans, toasted pecans. And spicy what's in the pecan. center? What's uh, in the center? A seedless grape. A grape. You Can I try, to try one of these? Oh, you have to try the shrimp. What is this, banana leaf or something? A little banana boat. A little banana boat. Here goes you know, the nobody shrimp. likes to share their sauces anymore. <laughs> we don't share sauces. That's right. We don't. No double dipping. Oh, that shrimp is delicious. That's, isn't that killer? Mm-hmm. That's what it's all about. And that's what we were Simple, making earlier, right? good, healthy food. Mm. We are what we eat. And you can love knowing that Jamie and his other performer uh, pals mm -hmm. are back there working hard making this dinner. Making this other. every night. Two to three hundred covers a day. We've got Mistletoe Magic, Dine and, and Dance with, sorry, Dine and Dream with Santa. Um, and then this menu, which includes sage and leek stuffing, silky buttermilk mashed potatoes. On the side there. Sauteed heirloom carrots with fresh thyme. You made those earlier. And a surprise dessert. What is your dessert surprise oh, that you're making for people? Oh, you have to show up for that because this is something Dufflet is bringing for us. Really? She's designed a special dessert for us oh, just for Christmas. Wow. So the shows are ongoing at the new location, which is where again? On Evans Avenue. You can't miss it. Okay. It's huge. And some big names have seen the show and are coming. Alex Trebek, you said, is coming. Alex Trebek's coming in the new year. Uh, Matt Dusk has been there numerous the times. singer. Oh, I love Matt. Great guy. Um, there's just so many celebrities. Mm. You can't even name the people who have gone through there. Paul Newman's foundation is one of the hugest sponsors. I, I remember. Yes, she was yeah, talking about still, that last time. He's still supporting. The, even though he's passed, his company is still supporting them. Fantastic. Uh, all the entertainment industry of Toronto supports the famous industry, the famous players. This chicken is terrific. Oh, it's a killer. I'm going to enjoy this as I tell you how to get tickets. Famousplayers.com. Jamie, do you want to say anything to your fans? Mm. <laughs> how about see you at the show? Yeah. <laughs> on the next daytime, we're going to have the latest from Snap Scarborough. We'll chat about Winterfest on Toronto's waterfront with Mariposa Cruises. We'll make some gnocchi from scratch with Ovest Restaurant. And we'll talk winter hats as well with Brims plus your holiday party is coming up. We'll give you some healthy snack options. If you want to tweet about anything you saw on the show today, at Rogers TV Toronto using the hashtag DaytimeTO. Thanks for watching. Delicious. And you, you, you cut some of these, these carrots for me, right?